Hello everyone. Every day we spend a significant amount of time opening our files in OneDrive, reviewing their content and sharing parts with others. But what if I told you that Copilot in OneDrive can handle all of this for you without even opening these files? Yes, that's correct. In this video, I'll show you how Copilot in OneDrive can enhance your productivity by automating many of these tasks. We will cover how Copilot can extract information, compare files, summarize documents, generate insights, create an FAQ, and even suggest ways to improve your content. Make sure to watch till the end to see how these features can save you time and make your work easier. As always, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tips and tricks. Before we get started our demo, I want to talk about one prerequisite, and that is having a Copilot for Microsoft 365 license. Yes, you will need this license in order to use these features in your OneDrive. Number one, summarize your files. Copilot in OneDrive brings an innovative file summarization feature that empowers users to create concise summaries of various document types directly from OneDrive web. These files can be Excel spreadsheets, can be Word documents, can be PDFs, can be PowerPoint presentations, or even loop files. Please note that currently videos and images are not in this list. I believe it's in Microsoft's roadmap in the future. So to summarize files, simply select a file and you can activate copilot here it's uh, you can see this icon if you click this will open up a quick pop-up box where you can choose from here or once this is selected you will see copilot in the ribbon you can get access to the same uh, list of features here or you can just simply click three ellipses and you will see Copilot here with the three features here. So I'll just select here, click summarize. I don't even need to open my file. And here is a quick summary of the file. You can see the details like high level purpose of this document, project objectives, stakeholders, timeline, success criteria, etc. And with, of course, uh, reference to the file itself. If I click here, you will see reference and I can open this up and imagine how much time we saved here. So we didn't have to open. Now this is like a quick guide. It's just two pages. Now imagine you would have the hundred pages of a file. So that would uh, even save you more time. I can also copy this and share with colleagues. I, I can also ask a question. I will show you. This is actually another feature that I would like to talk about. But if I close this, now I can select even multiple files. Please keep that in mind that you can select up to five files. And then I can ask Copilot summarize. Now Copilot will summarize all the selected files. So perfect, I have four files and it went ahead and created short summary for each file. And here are the references. You can see these are the four files. This is the first feature you can use Copilot on OneDrive and I highly recommend it. Number two is having an ability to ask questions about our files. So here I can again select a file, for example, I'll just select the same file or I have actually another file here. Okay, P Power Apps Application User Manual. I can select this and I can click Copilot icon here and ask a question. This will open up a Copilot pane in the right side. So I can simply ask, what's the purpose of this file? Perfect. It basically generated high level summary about this file. But once you put your first prompt, it actually gives you a couple of suggestions grounded in your file. 
here? Can you summarize the key sections? What are the troubleshooting guidelines? This is actually coming from my file. So if I click this, perfect. So you can see here that this is from my file. Let's actually review it together if I click. And if I open this file, we ask question about troubleshooting. So if I come back here, so perfect. Here is a troubleshooting guide that you can see and the support the same way Copilot. That's the exact same message that Copilot provided us. Perfect. I can keep interacting with my file here, just simply asking questions and it will refer to my file and generate answers. Same thing, I can select uh, three or four files, uh, again, up to five files and come here and ask a question. And you have the some starter prompts here. For example, I can select compare differences between these files, hit send. Perfect. It explains all these three files. As you can see, it's very text heavy. I can ask actually summarize each of these file and create a table. I found easier to consume information in a table format. Perfect, and as you can see here, we have the headers here, document title, purpose, key section, author, and last modified. So you can see all of these details here. So if you need this information, you can actually copy this, whether paste in Word or even Microsoft Loop, and this will help you to see all details in better format. But how about using Excel files, how Copilot can interact with Excel files in OneDrive. So same thing, I will come here and ask a question. Hit send. The Power Apps Project Tracker, file is a detailed project management document that outlines various tasks related to the Power Apps project. So basically this is our task tracker for our project uh, management. So what I can do here, let me actually open the file itself and see what we have here. So we have a couple of headers here, title, task description, start date, due date, etc. So let's actually ask about a specific task. I can just copy this task and come back to OneDrive and I can say, what is the status of task? And hit send. Perfect, the status of the setup CICD pipeline task is currently in progress. This task is assigned to Ian Thompson and is scheduled to be completed between February 1st, 2025 and February 22nd, 2025. Is there anything else you would like to know about the project? So first let's actually verify this information when it's correct. So if I come back to the file, I can highlight this row and here is the details. It is in progress. It is assigned to Ian Thompson and here are the start and due dates. Perfect. I can keep interacting more. I can ask what's the task description, are there any comments, etc. Here easily you can, uh, we didn't need to even open the file. We just opened to verify the information, but you can imagine how much time this would save you. But as always, make sure you check the information because AI generated results can sometimes be wrong. So it's your responsibility to check and validate these results. Number three, we can use Copart and OneDrive to compare our files. Copart and OneDrive offers a robust file comparison feature that enables users to simultaneously analyze up to five selected files. So let's that, try that out. 
So I have five files now. In fact, if I select number six, Copilot will disappear from here. Yes, there is still Copilot icon here, but look what happens if I select it. If I select it, then it will deselect the rest of the files and it will keep only one file selected. So let's select again. I'll select only three and click compile these files. This is perfect. This feature basically helps us to identify differences and similarities across multiple documents. It basically created a nice table where we can see each file, title, author, last modified, purpose, etc. And then different files that we selected as a header. This is fantastic. So we can also look at the references, etc. I think this feature is particularly useful for tasks such as if you have any job application review, this basically can compare multiple resumes or cover letters to identify the best candidates. It can be document versioning. Basically, you have the same document but different versions. So Copilot can help you track change across different versions of a document. Financial report analysis, Copilot can help you compare financial statements to identify trends and anomalies. Number four, we can use Copilot in OneDrive to create an FAQ based on the file. To create an FAQ feature in Copilot, OneDrive is designed to help you quickly generate frequent last questions from your existing documents. This feature is particularly useful for streamlining information sharing and making easier for both colleagues and customers to access essential details. For example, I have a uh, large file here. I can select and come here, click Copilot and create an FHU. So sometimes you would have user manuals or playbooks that you share with customers, but sometimes they are very lengthy, like six to seven pages. Instead, you can just ask Copilot and OneDrive to create a, a very high level FAQ that users can use it because they don't typically ask all the questions they write. So you can uh, look for what questions are mostly asked and ask Copilot to create uh, FAQ based on those questions. So this is perfect. For example, how do I submit an intake request? How do I edit a submitted request? And with answers uh, next to them. Personally, this is one of my favorite features when it comes to Copilot. And I already have two use cases for this. The first one, creating FAQ files for user training and customer support use cases. So these are the four ways that we can use Copilot and OneDrive. Uh, I believe in 2025, we will see more and more features coming to Copilot and OneDrive. But again, like these are the four current features that we can use. There are some limitations. Uh, I would like to talk about them as well. So. As you saw, we can only select up to five files. So if you select six, seven files, this will not work. And when I say this will, so I'm talking about comparing the files, summarize the files, etc. Also, Copilot and OneDrive supports most text-based files that can be PowerPoint, that can be Word, Excel, and so on. So if you use image, uh, meeting recordings, or video files, and OneNote notebooks, this will not work. Another limitation is Copilot currently doesn't support folders for Q&A. So let's look at that. So you can see now I select this file, and there is a Copilot icon here I can use. But if I scroll up and select a folder, you will not see Copilot here. So this is not currently uh, supported. But again, if you know about agents, you can actually build your agent referencing uh, SharePoint or OneDrive folders and Copilot generate uh, FAQ or help users to interact files 
inside that specific folders. And also file limit here, uh, maximum file limit restricted to files under 100. 50 megabyte. That's it for today. I hope you found these features as excited and useful as I do. By leveraging Copilot, you can save time, enhance your productivity, and make managing your files effortless. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video.